YouTube, it's your boy Fisher King, Hook City TV. It's time to do some more learning, y'all. I know we have a lot of viewers on here, subscribers on here. They really have this whole thing figured out. And you're watching my videos pretty much for entertainment value and just to see what's going on in the life of Hook City. But we have other subscribers that are new to this. They're learning this. And I want to make sure I give those value subscribers enough time and attention too. Now, I have a guy that said, Ken, please do a night time video. So y'all know what today is about. Today, we're going to talk about the two most important knots you use when crappie fishing. Let's get started. So guys, if you don't already know, I like to use Power Pro Line, 10 pound, high vis yellow, and sometimes you'll see green depending on which videos you've watched. We're gonna be using this uh, Roadrunner jig <clears throat> for the time demonstration today. And it's, I mean, it's nothing that you need to key in on, but if you wanna know, it's an eighth ounce jig, um, hand tie, white marabou, all right? And that we're going to be using that for the loop knot, which is the first knot that we're going to talk about. The second knot we're going to talk about is the clinch knot, or what some people call the fisherman's knot. And for that, we're going to be using this egg sinker or bail weight. All right, lastly, I'm at home. I didn't feel like going to get my snips, but if you're going to use braid, and even if you're using mono, you want to have some type of cutting tool. We like to use a really good pair of shears or snips. In this case, we're going to be using some scissors. Let's just give a little bit of lesson on why we use the knots we use. And guys, it's important to know why you do what you do. Why do you go looking in the creeks? Why do you go looking on the banks? Why are we doing the things that we're doing? Why are we selecting the baits that we're selecting? And why are we tying the knots that we're tying? So let's talk about it. Again, we'll start with the loop knot. Why are we wanting to tie loop knots above any other knot when we're talking about attaching line to our jigs? Well, the main reason, guys, is because we want to make sure that when we drop that bait in the water, that it's sitting horizontal. Sometimes if you're using a clinch knot or a fisherman's knot, if you don't have that knot sitting directly on top of the eye of the hook, it can go down in the water and sit like this. We don't want that. Here it is. We want to use a loop knot so that it's free hanging and it sits horizontally. It sits more natural. We're not going to see shad in the water or minnows in the water swimming at a 45 degree angle. So why would you want to present them your artificial bait in a 45 degree angle? Number two, we want better hookup ratios. They're synonymous for having these paper mouths or these thin mouths so that when you set hook, you don't want to set hook too hard and all these different things. There's nothing wrong with the firm hook set as long as you're hitting the right area in that crappie's mouth. So in order to do that, we want this hook to sit horizontally so that when we set hook, we're hitting the roof or the hardest part of that crappie's mouth. Let's get into tying this knot, man. Real simple, real easy. Watch close. Loop knot in one hand, in my dominant hand, <clears throat> I'm gonna have my line. In the off hand, I'm gonna have my jig, a jig head. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take that line and go through the eye of the hook. Once it goes through, we're gonna pull a little bit of it out. Now, it's okay to exaggerate what you're doing to make sure you have enough line. So all we've done right now is double that line and it's in my hand, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this close to the eye of this hook and I'm gonna wrap it around my fingers one time and hold it together. See that guys, we're holding it together. Now, if I spread my fingers apart, what I'm starting to create is a hole right there. See that? Hope y'all can see that. Now, while holding this line in the exact same manner, I'm going to run this whole jig through the hole I created one time. Still holding on to that one piece. So what I've did is I've made a whole circle. Now, 
with my with the same hand that's holding the jig, I'm gonna stick a finger in that line and I'm gonna rest it up against the jig. I'm gonna take my off hand with the two pieces of line and pull. See that getting smaller? It's getting smaller, getting smaller, getting smaller. Now I'm gonna let go right before it gets to the end and boom. We're done, man. That is simple and easy. And you can see the little loop. Now, what does this do? It allows it to free hang. When we get it into some water, it'll move as it needs to. It's free to move as it needs to so, we're, so that it can balance itself and again, sit horizontally in the water. Also, the reason why we only use loop knots when we're tying a jig. So you have your fisherman's knot, right? Let's tie a fisherman's knot and see what the difference is. Fisherman's knot. On the wrong jig, by the way. I'm gonna feed it through. Okay. And then all we need to do is just twist it around five or six times. Two, three, four, five. All right, we have it five times around. Now, we take the tag end, which is the back end, and also we created a little loop. I don't know if you can see that. I hope you can see that. It's a really little loop. I've got the loop exaggerated a little bit. You should be able to see that. And what we do, we put the tag end through that loop. And what I like to do is just hold it up against the jig head and pull. This is what we call a fisherman's knot. It's going to cinch directly down to the jig head. And look, it's sitting right there at the top, right? <clears throat> this is the problem, though. It doesn't move freely like the loop knot allows. Now, we're going to use the weight. So what we're going to do, we're going to go through the eye of that. Okay. And then we're going to spin this. This is called my tag line now. We're going to take the tag line around this first piece of line a few times. I always say five to six. Um, I like the number seven, so sometimes I do know seven times around, but you see I'm just going around that piece of line a few times. When you get it around there a few times, it almost looks braided, right? Now, there is a loop that we created that is right in front of the eye of this weight. There's a small loop. We're going to then take our tag line again and go through that loop. Okay. So it's through the loop. And what I'll do is I'll grab this. I'm going to press it up against the weight. And then I'm going to pull the line. See how it's going down? And what that does is that cinches or clenches um, the eye of this weight. So that gives us what we call the clinch knot or the fisherman's knot, right? Okay. So that's tight. That will not slip anymore. Now, why do we use this knot? Guys, the fisherman's knot is still an important knot, just not for attaching line to G. When we want to do that, we want to use the loop knot, and I've explained why earlier in the video. Now, for the clinch knot or the fisherman's knot, we can use that knot when we're tying on egg sinkers, when we're tying on Aberdeen hooks, AKA your minnow hooks. When you're tying on your minnow hook, we're not worried about how it hangs as much because the minnow itself is gonna correct itself in the water. Um, so we can use the fisherman's knot for every other type of attachment that we need. There's a million knots out there, guys. I'm not telling you don't use them, but I know that those knots can get confusing. I sat and watched one of my buddies use all these different bass knots. And before you know it, this dude's fingers look like this. And he said, yeah, use that knot. But for what? I personally have never had a loop knot fail me. I've never had a clinch knot fail when I'm using minnow hooks. Those are the only two knots that are important to crappie fishermen. All that other stuff, you can use them, it's cool. But when you're talking about attaching line to hook or line to jig head, jig head loop knot, 
If you're using gold Aberdeen minnow hooks, clench knot. Um, there are a lot of elements to crappie fishing, and as you go, as you grow, you'll learn that. But look, let's keep it in the simplest form. There's no reason to be sitting here fighting knots for 10 minutes. Simply tie a loop knot when you're using line to jig or a fisherman's knot when you need to tie on a weight or a gold Aberdeen hook to fish live bait. Guys, it's your boy Fishing Ken, Hook City TV. Y'all stay with me, man. It's a great time to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you think about this video in the comment section. And know, and know that we will continue to bring these informative videos, man. Thanks for watching. I'm out, chill.